Lord Malak was most displeased when he learned you had escaped Taris alive. He has promised a great reward to whoever destroys you. I'm here. Yes? on a whim like it is some toy. It troubles me to see you behaving this way. Such acts can lead to the dark side. So kind as to purchase this model from Yukalaka. Disclosure. I am a versatile protocol and combat droid, fluent in verbal and cultural translation. Observation. No one leaves Anchorhead without proper authorization. Well, let's see it. Come on. 
All right. I'll just scan that and you're off. I'll keep it on file, too. Good luck out there. You'll need it. Hello there. You're heading out into the desert? You're a hunter, right? You must be if you've been allowed to leave Anchorhead. When you see Tannis, and I know you old boys always stick together, tell him his wife hopes he enjoys the anniversary gift. Just a little something to remember me by. Something that symbolizes our years together. Something that will blow up in his face. Of course, he'll never understand how appropriate it is. He can't talk his way out of this one. He's not smart enough. Oh, I'm through planning. I just left him a little mess that he has to take care of. If he's smart, he'll be just fine. But he's not smart. Oh, I'll be long gone soon enough. The next shuttle to anywhere, really. I've had it with cleaning up his messes, repairing his droids. If he lives, he can try and get by on his own. I doubt he'll last long with no one to listen to his lies. I'm sure you do. Like I said, when you see him, tell him his wife Marlena says hello. I'm here. Anyone out there? Could you help? I seem to be, uh, doomed. Hey there, thanks for stopping. I appreciate it. I've been stuck without water for hours. Wasn't looking good. I don't remember you from Faz's club. You new to Anchorhead? Could you maybe help me get out of here? Well, uh, it would appear that I've worn out my welcome with my wife Marlena. She fixes my droids. Fixed him good this time. This should be interesting. I triggered some sort of trap she programmed. She probably figured I wouldn't be smart enough to get out. Yeah, she was right. You know, now really isn't the time for a lecture. Of course, I might be more receptive after I'm rescued. The wife put a kink in my battle droids. They're in some sort of discharge loop. And if I move from this spot, they're threatening to blow up. She knew I wouldn't know how to fix them. If you try to do some repairs, they don't care if you move. It's just me who's stuck. I say leave him. You're pretty heartless for such a pretty lady, you know? I take it back. Let's congratulate his wife. I'd, uh, really appreciate a bit of help, please? Uh, what do you have in mind? Hey, no problem. But it won't be a fortune or anything. I bet the wife has drained our shared accounts. Now, uh, about that help. Just access each droid's repair interface. You'll have to do some tinkering, but be careful. One explosion, I can survive. Any more than one, and I'm dead. Oh, and uh, ignore the message Marlena left in there. No way do I deserve this, I swear. Yes? Yes? Having fun on the dunes, Tannis? I made sure you would. Here's the deal. Your precious droids have trapped you. They'll hold you until you die of thirst. Make a mistake while repairing them, they explode. Have a good death. My mother was right about you.
That was... unpleasant. Thanks for your help. I'd have been a goner. Hey, and the old bat thought I was dead. <laughs> you wanted credits for your trouble, and I never break a deal. Here's, uh, all I have on me. What else could I give you? I need what I have to repair my droids and get back up and running. I'd, uh, really like to pay you more. Here, take whatever I have. It's all yours. How did... How did you get me to do that? Damn, that's what got me married and into this mess. That's it, I'm leaving. Now, if you don't mind, I have to limp these boys back to my shop. Hopefully Marlena didn't take the manuals with her. What can I do? I do. Who are you? Ah, it doesn't matter. Can you handle a blaster? It may attack again at any second. I doubt we could hold out on our own against another wave of them. You would be right. Came out of nowhere. Wait, damn it! Here they come again! How did they do that? Your wish? What? Thanks for your help. I don't think we'll try holding this position for much longer. We're not soldiers. Did the company send you? It's about time they drove these animals out. Well, you've got a lot of work ahead of you. Do you know about their enclave in the south? 
Don't even try to go near it. They've taken all the Zerka weapons that were supposed to protect our sand crawlers. That place is a fortress, a death trap. You'll have to find some way to sneak into the place. That is not my job. Just that they attack everything on sight. Well, I suppose they don't attack each other, but any outsider is as good as dead. The company tried to arm us and even set up remote self-powered turrets on the mining route, but, but that just made things worse. We're not soldiers. They still kill us and then take our weapons off our corpses. They even had the Jawas disable the turrets and set them around their enclave. It's like a fortress now. I don't know how you're going to break through all of that. Me? I'd sneak in. But, well, actually, I'd just get back to Anchorhead. They use whatever they scavenge. They seem to hate our technology, but they love to turn it against us. That goes for blasters and turrets, too, I guess. It's not like you need to be a genius to operate them. They probably don't even bother with special settings. They just watch for people approaching and switch them on. Yeah, so do we. There's no way we're appearing this thing while getting attacked over and over. The desert can have it. Ah, the Jawas will salvage it eventually anyway. Then we can buy it back and start over. <laughs> Makes sense to me.